third year learning disability student nurse student at EMU. Um, my background in nursing is, um, well, the only background I've got in nursing is when I first joined uh, my, study, my studies and studying at DMU. Before that, I've worked with people with learning disabilities, um, supporting them in an advocacy role and working with them to help change um, services and um, different policies across Leicester. The special moment I've experienced as a student nurse was one that sticks in my mind where I was able to develop a, a strategy um, along with some other nurses and some other um, team members to help a patient use their CPAP machine, which is a machine which helps people breathe. Um, the patient didn't like it whatsoever um, and was really reluctant to try and give any strategies a go. However, I was able to lead um, a whole project where we supported this patient and put things in place to make them feel more confident about using their CPAP machine. Unfortunately, um, I wasn't able to see it all the way through to the end because I came off placement. However, I checked back after a few weeks later and found out that it had been a complete success and now this patient was using their CPAP machine almost every single night. So just things like that make you realise the impact that you can have as a student nurse um, by supporting patients to achieve their goals. The hardest thing about being a student nurse can be trying to juggle everything, um, so trying to balance placement with um, university and then your maybe work life and personal life can be a real juggle. So. Um, Placements can be really challenging as well and you can sometimes um, take a lot home from placements so being able to offload and, and having a work-life balance is absolutely crucial. The tip that I would give a learning disability student nurse when they're feeling under pressure is to just try and take every day as it comes and just one step at a time and um, sometimes the workload can seem really really overwhelming and that there's just so much to do but if you just go one day at a time one step at a time you can manage it and um, one tip that I live and die by is that I've just got a real basic week to view diary and I've got everything in there and um, so I don't miss anything I know when deadlines are I know when things need to be done so it's just about really perfecting your organisation skills and if you can do that you'll be absolutely fine. Um, another piece of advice would be don't burn out, it's really easy to do, you'll probably hear about it a lot with other nurses on placement and um, burnout is a, a massive issue um, especially within the NHS, people feeling like their workload is just too much um, so just talk to your peers, talk to your tutor, and grab a cup of tea when you need it and reflect on the day. And, and remember, being a student is not going to be forever. It's only going to be for the time that you are studying and eventually you'll qualify and you'll be able to pick exactly what it is that you want to do. And hopefully you'll be able to manage um, time and workload a little bit better. go-to food when um, I'm busy on placement or even at uni is um, porridge pots so I always get them wherever I go and um, all the supermarkets do them all you need is hot water to pop in them um, and they are literally my best friend when I'm on placement um, I usually pop a bit of fruit in them you can eat it at your desk and um, whilst you're working if you absolutely have to but yeah they they are absolutely the perfect thing to, to always have in your bag if you ever need a quick snack or something to fill your tummy. A question that I wish people would ask me about my role as a learning disability student nurse is how can their service or the help that they provide become more accessible for people with a learning disability and um, there's massive gaps across services throughout the country of where services are just not built for people with learning disabilities and that can be from anything from accessible information accessible location and venue and um, all the way to, to 
reasonable adjustment. So if if we can spread more information or raise awareness about just the tiny things that can really help a person with learning disabilities access services, that would be a massive step for people with learning disabilities. So if anybody could ask me a question about learning disability nursing, that would be it, how they can help 